Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're back in Project 1999 on Drachmir. So I first want to say, hopefully y'all had a great holiday and was able to take advantage of the bonus experience. I know I did as much as I could while I could. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about several different things, games that I'm going to be posting soon, as well as games that are going to be coming out, hopefully in the near future as well as games that you may want me to try that I haven't tried before. But let's talk about EverQuest first, as this is the main point of the video, or what the content of the video is at the moment. I wanted to say I am not, or have not stopped working on walkthroughs. There are complications in just me making sure that I have a perfect walkthrough for some of the more complex zones. Even the not-so-complex zones like Guck. I mean, it's a very understandable and easy place for me to walk through. And it may be for some of you as well. But whenever it comes to the logistics of the video, I want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. The reason I say logistics is because if you want to go to, say, the Summoner, who drops a potion that gives you a level 12 mage pet that you can use to pretty much power level a level 1 as long as they don't let the pet die, or say you want to power level someone and you give them that pet and you keep that pet alive, either way, you can even hand them, if you wanted to, a 100 uh, plat two-hand sword and it will do like 50 damage per swing things like that but uh if you want to go to that direction do i give you the direction from going left or do i give you the direction from going right also if i am doing the right side which goes to the scryer then has the warden goes down to the zone line um to, to the undead zone line, then to the live zone line one, live zone line two, where the AC is. Do I go that way to show you where that is? Or do I go the other way, which is taking you past the necromancer to where the uh, summoner is, which is also the same room as where the rod drops for the, um, for the enchanter uh, rod or whatever that weapon is that they carry. So then it comes to that crossroad where you can either turn um, left or you can go straight. That leads you to the Warden and the Shin Lord and the Fungus. Do I? Where do I take you from there? Do I take you from the left side? Do I take you from the right side? Do I show you that they interweave? <laughs> I mean... It's not very that it's not very complex when you are thinking about it and just want to go to that location. So what I'm planning to do is doing multiple walkthroughs in a single video. So Guck is going Guck Upper Guck is going to be one video where I give three directions. <laughs> one that leads directly to where the summoner is and that whole area there. Another one that leads to uh, the undead zone line and the live zone lines including all the mobs in that direction and then the third one that leads you down to the shin lord because that is a whole nother area or i could do it in zones as far as the level you can be in certain sections so well i'm it, the video isn't going to be that complex uh, these are the things that i'm thinking about for that specific zone only and it's not really as complicated of a zone as I'm making it sound. I just want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly so that whenever someone looks up the video or someone needs help trying to find a camp, it's not that hard. Um, though, this is the things that I think about whenever I'm doing these videos. Other videos have to do with getting the faction to be able to do them. Like, I would like to do a walkthrough of VP but that requires my rogue to get faction with the dragons for uh, VP, and that's by killing mobs in Mistmore. Uh, also, I'd like to be able to do a walkthrough of Chardock, but because of the dogs alone, I have to go and farm the faction 
for Chardock for my rogue. So things like that. I am working on all of those with my rogue and my bard because my bard is the one who's going to be doing the walkthrough of Velks. Just because he has the Lou the Howler and he also has the faction modifier. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know, I have not stopped working on those specifically. Uh, and then I'll be doing other videos along the line. So I guess it's more of an update video than anything else. The other things are, I should be uploading soon a new video of uh, Rising World, which is a game I played about two years ago. And a lot of people liked it, but then I fell through the world in the last video that I posted and decided that I was going to give them some time to resolve some of the issues. And they have. They've actually uh, brought back uh, or continue to add on to the game in spades. And it is very fun to play that game now. So I have that game coming out. Uh, also, I've been doing a series on Arx Fatalis. But really the main thing I wanted to ask you is what games do you want me to play? Mostly what MMOs do you want me to play that I haven't played before? I can list one MMO that I am going to be playing very soon, which is Vanguard. I found the emulated server, so I am going to be posting videos from that. I thoroughly enjoyed that game and want to show it off in its glory. I played a bard named Chords as I had a bard in NeverQuest Live named Chords as I have a bard in Project 1999 named Chords. Anyway, <laughs> probably going to have a bard that I play uh, in Vanguard, but I'll try the other classes as well. It's actually one of the most complicated crafting systems I've ever seen in an MMO, though I've been seeing some more complicated ones lately. Uh, another game I could probably think of that had... A more complex crafting system was Horizons, which isn't even called that anymore. There's an emulator for that game, and I can't even remember what it's called anymore. But there's also games that I wish I could show you guys, like Forensis Online, which is a game that was out for four years, and then it was handed off from uh, owner to owner, and now it's probably lost in um, Taiwan right now, which is literally the last place that it was tracked to, and it was, had a huge following, and nobody can play it anymore, which is kind of sad. But if you have some of those gems that you would like me to try out, some emulated servers or just games that have been out for a long time, by the way, I will not try out EVE. It's a game that I just won't try. I played it once, and it just absolutely bored me to death so anyway that's that uh the games that i've been looking at or waiting for to come out are uh pantheon online of course they're about to do their their beta uh, camelot unchained and um then there's another game that's coming out again i think it's called dark light i'll have to double check that Darklight, if it's the, if that's the actual correct name, was a game that came out where it was a PvP system, kind of like uh, if you've ever seen or watched Rust, where you everything that you have on you uh, can be lost through death. The map was absolutely massive. I think it was 25 kilometers. If uh, that's I don't know kilometers, I don't know how big that is, but I think that's pretty big. Uh, 25 or uh, 15 or 20 kilometers uh, cubed. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, they had castle building. They had boat uh, building. There was a really good crafting system. You had a bank where you pretty much stored all your stuff because you knew you would lose it. Uh, you could hatch these mounts and so much more. But they're going to be uh, coming out with a new version of that game. And I plan to be trying that soon as well. But just wanted to do a hey guys video. And I um, hope you enjoyed your holiday. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.